Welcome into another edition of Camp Dolphins All Access, another Houston on the yeah, road right. edition. Kimbo Camper, Mike Cuno here. Bo, we wrap up another two yep. joint practice session with an opposing team, but let's get to the headline of yep. the day. First 11 on 11 drill, we see Tron Armstead yep. ends up limping off, tosses yep. his helmet, takes off the pads. His day is done. Overall level of concern now for the it's starting high. left tackle. It's yeah. high. It's high because, you know, I, I watched him. I remember last year, mm -hmm. New York playing in the Jets, third play, and he comes off the field. I saw the same Teron Armstead, same look in his eye, yeah. same limp, same all those things, and he wrestled with that for the rest of the season, I think. And you could see the desperation in, in, in his face. I think he's, I think he's thinking that this is going to be another season where I'm going to have to wrestle with this thing Frustration. every single week. Maybe I play, maybe I don't play. So that's tough, and then but now you got to, it's, it's next man up. Yeah. So Keon Smith was the guy today that filled in right behind him mm -hmm. as they're trying to get that second tier in there uh, to line up. So he seems to be the guy that's got the uh, you know the, the lead on that spot at least, and they're still continuing to work through the rest of the offensive line spots. But yeah. that's a big a big big blow for this team. And you got to feel for him too because when we talked to him yesterday, it seems like he's a guy Armstead that enjoys the yep. process no of building towards that regular season, ramping yep. up, and then to see that now possibly take a step back. Yep. Very concerning. We're not going to hear from the team or Coach McDaniel yep. until you know after yep. the preseason game. So an update there is going to be a little tough. So Dolphin fans, bring your patience. All right, but let's talk about the joint practices. Yep. Overall, again, it is sort of a ramp up all the way towards the regular season. Okay. Where is this team right now? We know two is throwing interceptions out here, yeah. but that's part of the process yeah. of – experimenting, yeah. figuring out the offense. Yeah, I, again, I always say, and I really don't worry about interceptions in practice, practice yeah. because I don't know what the quarterbacks are trying to see. Sure. So I don't really worry that much about that. But I would say if I want to grade where this team is right now, I, I think we need I think we need next week, Yeah. and I think we need the next week. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, I see a, a lot of, what I see is a lot of solid play out of the front line players, particularly in the line of scrimmage, mm -hmm. you know, offense and defense. Once you get past that, you're looking for that guy that can fill in on some of these roles. And like Keon Smith, here he is. It's his yeah. opportunity now. And so there's some of those things. But I, but I think overall, I think the team is in a good spot. Um, we're getting some little bumps and bruises. And you're, you're starting to see a little of that. And they're going to have to temper that down. But they've got, you know, the, the one thing they've got is that week behind, after the next week game where there's no game. A bye week. And it gives them right. almost two weeks to heal up. Sure. So. So that but I, I'm I'm pretty pleased with where they're at. Yeah, and and to your point again about not being overly concerned about interceptions in practice. Yeah. Tyree Kill was asked about some of the two interceptions yeah. from day one. He said, "I want Tua to be aggressive. I yeah. want him to make those throws yeah. now because this is where you figure out what you can and cannot right. do, what your limitations are exactly. in the offense." So, yeah, yeah look, we're going to see the Dolphins again on the field come Saturday. It'll be their second preseason yep. game. I'm guessing a heavy dose of Skylar Thompson and yep. Mike White one more time, but that's good. The Dolphins need that, that backup experience well, as well. One thing we saw today, I think I was looking forward to, they featured the tight ends a lot. Yeah. Featured the tight ends in, in running. They featured the tight ends in the passing game, and you're starting to see Tyler Croft, those guys, Elijah Higgins, yeah. getting opportunities there. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how those tight ends, how that tight end room fits mm -hmm. in this scheme with uh, the, with Mike McDaniel. It, it almost flushed that whole room out, yeah, they except did. for Durham Smythe, and so we'll see how it's packed up. Yeah, you know what? That's the benefit of these preseason games. You get to see some of these camp competitions, and then yep. you see whole units kind of come together, yep. to your point, about that tight end group. Uh, we're going to get together and go get some tacos. Uh, it's, it's, time. it's time. Salsa. Chips and salsa. Bo, thank Guacamole. you. Bo, maybe margaritas, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. All right, if you say so. Yeah. All right, for Kimbo Camper, I'm Mike Cuno in Houston for another edition of Camp Dolphins All Access.